Hello, welcome back my friends. It's been almost four months since the last video, but I promised you I still have material to show you. But uh, I'm sorry I was very very busy the last months. We are reaching the end of the year and if you are president of a club uh, that means always a lot of work. And now we are close to the holiday season so tomorrow is my last day at work and I still have time to record something new. So today we want to see at uh, Balk Agenda actions. What does that mean? That means that we use an agenda view and we do something with it. So if you see here, I have prepared an org file that has a lot of done things in uh, different hierarchies and I want to archive all of them practically. That, that's my job. I want to archive them. Okay, I could put my cursor here and press Ctrl C X A. Uh, so that they are archived, but uh, that's a lot of key pressures to do. So I want to do it a bit different and I want to have a agenda view. Uh, let me show, uh, I want a view that shows me all done actions. So we enter agenda, control C, A. We use a special to do keyword, that's T. And we say I want everything done. You see I have a bunch of done actions and now the task is I want to mark them for processing with bulk commands. If you want to mark an entry you just put the cursor on the line and you press M. And you see I have a greater sign here that says it's marked and so on. I could press M's or you could even press asterisk so everything is marked. And you see I now have marked 8 entries for bulk action. You see the keys are here. You can mark a single line or you can unmark a line. You can mark everything or unmark everything. You can even toggle the marks. Or you mark entries based on a regular uh, expression that you say. I have an expression that says do all that, that has uh, whatever in the text. But now for this example we have 8 marked things and if we want to archive them we have to perform a bulk action and if you want uh, to call a bulk action the first thing is that you have to do is that you are in your agenda view and you press shift B. Shift B. Then it asks you what do you want. In this case you could uh, even press uh, asterisk that means uh, the marks remain after the action is done but this doesn't make any sense at the moment so we want to archive things there are two ways to archive things the one is with capital A but that would mean that we build a other entry here with two stars that says archived it gets an archive text and everything that is archived is still in this file but I want, don't want it in this file I want it really in my archive target file so I use the dollar sign and if you press the dollar sign now here inside that buffer you see there are some things done now there's one left I hope that this is just a mistake let me see Quit. Let's see if we have still C A T done. You see there is no done task at all and everything is gone and it should be in my archive org now. That was we do archiving entries just with a few clicks and a few key pressures and we are done. And that's one thing that I uh, frequently use in my weekly review because I have a checkpoint in my list that says uh, look at all done tasks and uh, mark all tasks that you have completed as done and then of course archive them. So I have prepared a custom view for all done tasks and then I do it like I uh, showed you now. 
that I just mark everything and say, okay, put it in the archive files. The other thing that you can do, of course, is that you uh, change and refile entries. So let's uh, have another agenda view that says CA. Uh, no, I have to be here. CA, just an uh, agenda view. You see, see, I have a lot of scheduled things and some things that I really procrastinated for a long time, 109 days, and now I say, oh, God damn, I really have to do those things. Or I have to do something with it, you could say. Uh, I can change the to-do state if I mark the things. Or I add a tag to those things. You see, here's the garage tag, but I could also uh, add another tag. You can even apply a function on those entries, but uh, that you have to read in the manual. I don't show you a function now. I have no, no application at the moment for that. Or you can refile all those things that you mark. Uh, it's, it's easy. But what I want to do is I want to reschedule that. So we go a bit farther and uh, we see we have uh, schedule commands. That means S is schedule, reschedule the entry that I mark. So let me mark uh, those four, let us say MMM. Now I could uh, just reschedule them by bulk S, uh, BS, or I set deadlines to a specific date, could also be, or you can even uh, enter control U, be you prefix the, the bulk action command and then if you press S or D, you will remove the schedules from those entries. So this entry is no longer scheduled for any date. But what I want to do now, I say, okay, I was on holidays for the last four months, I come back I see, oh my god, there are four tasks that I should do in the near future. I don't want to do them now, but I want to do them. So I say, okay, I scatter this thing. Scattering means uh, you take the marked tasks and you put them in the next few days. So let's do that. We press B and we say we want scattering. Let's uh, shift S. And now he says, how many days do you want to place them? Uh, the default is seven, but let's say we want to do them in the next uh, 10 days or whatever. So put then and press enter and see what happens. And you see that task got scheduled for the December 25. This one was scheduled for uh, December 26. There is one that is scheduled for December 31 and another one also scheduled for December 31. So I have rescheduled all the tasks very, very easily. So if I go back and put my agenda again, you see there is no open task. And if I move forward, I see the scheduled things for 26 and for 31 and so on. So this is easy if, if you have really those tasks that you always procrastinate and that you say, okay, I want to do them and I want to do them soon. So I scatter them on the next few days and uh, I hope that then they will be done. A very important thing about scattering is if you want to use that function, then uh, make sure that the setting or log reschedule is not configured that you take uh, rescheduling nodes. Because if you have configured or log reschedule for taking nodes, you will run into a bug that uh, means uh, from your marked actions only one is rescheduled by scattering and then he says, oh, the other one disappeared. So put them uh, either to no logging at all or just log timestamps for rescheduling. If you see, I have this, this getting things done. This should have a, you see, we have a, a timestamp now 
that says we rescheduled it from September 12th to oh, today at this time. And the new schedule is we want to start reading that on Monday. So that's it for the moment with bulk agenda actions. They are sort of useful if you want to automate tasks. As I told you, I use this uh, usually in my weekly reviews that I have uh, made with uh, checklists. I have a long sketch uh, checklist that I process when I do my re weekly review and I have defined agenda views, custom agenda views for all the big checkpoints in that checklist and if it comes to uh, like archive all the done tasks then it's uh, really calling for a bulk agenda action instead of uh, pu putting every task uh, by hand into the archive files. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the people that subscribe to my channel. Meanwhile I have 625 subscribers. That's really great. And uh, yeah, I wish you a nice holiday season. There are lots of uh, subscribers that come from countries that probably doesn't celebrate Christmas. But anyway, Merry Christmas to everyone that celebrates Christmas. I will be back in a few days with a sort of Christmas special. I, sketch, uh, I, I plan to uh, make a longer snippet about uh, the system that I'm using in real life every day. Because people ask me uh, what I do, what I really do with org mode. Uh, so this what I show you here are really setup stages. This is an example setup that, that uh, could be real but it's not what I'm, I'm really doing. But I, of course I have a system based on org mode that is really organizing my life my work and everything I do. So I will make a video uh, for the next snippet that uh, explains you how I do the things and uh, what I do and how I synchronize between computers and so on. So stay tuned and you know I'll be back.